Okay, hi Allison. I've got your painting out again and a few more things to show you with prices this time. Um, yeah, I'll start with the basic design where the, the canvas is just stretched over um, some bars, staples are put in, and the sides are painted. Wire goes on the back and you hang it like so without uh, a frame around it. So I'm just using this hunk of wood, you know, to demonstrate. That's going to go around the stretcher bars and the side gets painted. Um, we can pick that color. Like I said, again, I would like, you know, something a little better than plain black or plain white, um, like a dark green or a sage green or one of these kind of medium to dark blues down here um, that would give that outer edge more, more of a clean look. Um, that would be 110. You stretch it, painted sides, just 110, and then it's ready to hang. So, um, okay, moving on to some frames. One of the ones I showed you was a natural wood. Um, it's got a partner here. I've got both a medium and a dark one. Get them up in here to show you the, uh, the finish and the wood grain. Um, I call this one kind of like a light toasted honey. This one's more of like a medium dark cherry. Um, they're both uh, about an inch face and an inch and a quarter depth. So not too tall, not too big, nothing too crazy or wild. Um, natural woods are lovely. And um, yeah, either of those would be 310. Um, again, that would mean the, the uh, canvas is stretched and then the stretched canvas goes inside the frame and then it's hung like so. Um, I will definitely send you some still pictures of these up next to the canvas so you can get a better idea how they look up close. But um, yeah, 310 for either of these. Here's another good look at them. Ooh. <laughs> Medium and dark wood grain, slightly set in finish. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, and as you can see, they, they pair really well with the, uh, the warm, natural kind of woody tones inside the buildings and the boats there, so. Um, okay, and up next are some ornate frames. So this is a dark ornate with a pattern in there. Let's get really up close. So it's, it's not quite black. This is kind of like a very dark reddish black. Um, the red undertones in that uh, carved looking um, curvature ornate design uh, look like, you know, it was worn off and then the red underneath is coming through. So ooh, again, I'll send you stills. You can get a better idea of it up close with the, the painting. So I'm not shaking the camera around at you here. Um, this other ornate frame is a little more like modest rustic something you'd find in a farmhouse so it's got like a gray wash look to it like like it's worn and aged but it's it's still actually quite a clean new frame of course but um yeah the pattern inside here is like it looks carved and it's got that kind of washed light uh finish to to the the pattern so and then the scroll pattern on the inside and the outside edge um both of these frames are roughly um i want to say an inch and three quarters uh not too huge and um overall the the size works for a 20 by 24 size painting so um yeah either of these frames they are both the same um price rustic ornate 220 dark ornate with the red undertones also 220 ha ha <laughs> okay again i'm gonna get up close here so you can get a good look at them Ew. yeah these are these are pretty and detailed without being overly flourishy or pretentious you know <laughs> okay uh last set i'm showing you six frames today but they each come in like little pairs so um last set these are more like a contemporary um, but uh, not, you know, overly flashy or, or um, sleek. Um, I call these like a tall angular design. So the front of the frame um, angles in and we've got a little bit of a quarter of an inch lip there. And then um, outer uh, height is uh, one and three quarter. No, I'm sorry, two inches. It's two inch height. So these are tall frames that stand up off, off the wall. Um, this is kind of a, like a light cream color and more of like a medium brown. They both have wood grain on them up close. Um, this, this grain pattern kind of reminds me of bamboo, honestly. Like I've got a bamboo cutting board that has grain like this, um, though it is not bamboo. <laughs> um, either of these frames would come to oh, 340. Um, they're a little pricier than the others. Um, they have a lot of space inside to accommodate large things, so those stretcher bars would fit no problem right inside there. 
Uh, da, da. So, um, yeah, these also, that angular kind of contemporary shape reminds me of mid-century frames, like something from the 50s or 60s, um, if that's your style. So, um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, again, get up close, Choo! and then I'll send you stills, of course. <laughs> so, um, yeah, 340 for the tall angular, 220 for the ornate. 310 for the natural woods that are flat and stretch only 110. Okay, yeah, let me know your thoughts and we'll go from there. Talk to you soon.